Washington. And of course, in Washington, at this moment, they have grounded 4,500 planes. They're in the process of it. Orders are going out that they are to intercept planes in the air. Martha Raddatz is at the Pentagon ceremony with us right now. Martha. Good morning, Diane. I'm standing on the hillside where Flight 77 passed over and slammed into the Pentagon 10 years ago. But I have to tell you, mixed with the sadness today is a sense of pride. Right after that plane hit, right after people were evacuated and reporters were sent up here, people went back to work. There are 20,000 people who work in that building. The very next morning, they were back at work and they were about to wage war. And we have been at war for 10 years now. So there is that sense of pride, a sense of accomplishment, what these people did. The families here are gathered. The memorial here has been open for three years. So they have seen those remembrance benches in descending order of the oldest person who was killed a 71-year-old to a three-year-old. So that sense of pride and somberness this morning, Diana George. And Martha, boy, they went right to work, you said. Remember, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld mm -hmm. right on the front line of the recovery effort. As we approach this moment of silence, though, we do want to bring you back to those horrifying moments as American Flight 77 was heading towards the Pentagon. I didn't hear anything, but I saw um, the aircraft above my head, about 80 feet above the ground, 400 miles an hour. It was close enough that I could see the windows and the blinds had been pulled down. Red American Airlines on it. Apparently we're also Claire, let me interrupt you for a second. We now have fire confirmed at the Pentagon and parts of the Pentagon are indeed being evacuated. I remember thinking the first one was likely an accident, the second one was an attack, and the third plane was a declaration of war. I remember thinking here I am the commander in chief in a war zone. Uh, we'd been attacked by an enemy right here in the heart of our capital.